Hello everyone, welcome to the next uh, video lesson in bunker play. This is the last one for greenside bunkers. Uh, another time I'll do fairway bunkers where it's obviously a completely different shot trying to create distance. Today I'm just going to go through some rules because we do find sometimes if we're unlucky that we're in a, in a position like this where the shot is virtually impossible. I don't think I'd want to have a go at that. Uh, I suppose in match play, depending on the state of the match, I might do, but really it's just worth sometimes saying I've, I've been unlucky. Now let's take a, a, a drop under penalty and um, at least just take our medicine and, and then hopefully play the next shot onto the green. Uh, so we have basically five options all together. Number one, of course, we can play the shot. Well, I've now deemed it unplayable. I've said that to my partner or opponent. Always mark the ball first. So I'm, I would mark it with a tee peg so we know where the ball originally lay. Um, now, the first one we've got is the two club uh, length rule, which is still there in any unplayable shot. So we can go back two club lengths in either direction, in any direction, as long as it's not nearer the hole. It's not particularly useful here because two club lengths may get me back here but I'm still on an upslope I'd rather be on a level lie so that's probably not the option I would take we can then go back in line with the ball and the target and we can go back as far as we want by the way the first shot there was a oh, the first rule was a one shot penalty as this is so we can come back keep it in line I would personally always mark where I'm going to drop the ball with another tee peg just so there's a reference point we can now drop it from, of course, our, well, we have to drop it from our knee height, so there's less chance that the ball will plug compared to how we used to drop it from shoulder height. Um, so I'm keeping that in line. Again, that is a penalty of one shot. Now, where that's particularly useful is in a, in a fairway bunker, where we want to maybe go back as far as we can to reduce the height of the lip. And some fairway bunkers can be 50, 60 yards long. So if we go back a long way, we can even get maybe a medium arm to it or even a rescue wood. There's a, a course in Kent, uh, Chart Hills. I've, it's many years since I've played there. I think it's the fifth or sixth. They've got a ferry bunker up the left, or they used to have. It must be, I don't know, 150 yards long. So you, again, you can go back as far as you want and create distance. So again, a penalty of one shot. We can go back to where we hit the ball last from. In other words, stroke and distance. Now, if I've hit the ball into there from 150 yards away, I'm not gonna walk 150 yards back and then drop the ball under penalty of one shot but I might have actually fluffed my chip from just behind the bunker into that lie. And I can go back to where I fluffed the chip from, again, drop it at knee high. Um, and that again is a penalty of just one shot. So stroke and distance. The new rule that's come in uh, recently is the two penalty shot rule, where we can now drop it out of the bunker and we can go back again as far as we want, keeping the original spot in line with the target. So we can go back 10 feet, 100 feet, or whatever you want to do, try and pick a good lie. Uh, and that is now a, sh a penalty of two shots. And that's only come in recently. Now, if we go back to the road hole bunker at St Andrews, and I've never played it, as I've said, but rather than have about six or seven swipes at it there, as you, we've seen even the best players in the world do over the years, uh, tournaments being played there, um, that could be an option. Because even dropping it back in the bunker under penalty of one shot may not be particularly advantageous drop it outside of the bunker as grueling as a two shot penalty would be um, that might be a better option than hopefully we chip then over it and onto the green hopefully we don't duff it in there again so there's a few rules um, they're worth knowing uh, and as I said sometimes it's worth taking a medicine taking a penalty drop playing the next shot walk off that's how golf is so hope that will help you again uh, we'll see you in the next video and we'll work on another part of the game take care bye bye